When this coronavirus craziness started to happen, I got very depressed. I was concerned about the fact that we were not going to be able to teach on campus anymore. A retreat I was meant to go to with students was getting canceled. My daughter's high school, you know, was in chaos. Um, you know, there were all kinds of travel restrictions being imposed. And I was, you know, I was not feeling good. And then I remember the story by Viktor Frankl, a preeminent psychotherapist and a wonderful human being from the 20th century. And he shared the story about this young boy who was told once that he had a terminal illness and that he therefore had just a few months to live. And that boy took a deep breath and paused. And then, he, and then he recovered. And then he said, you know, I'm reminded of this story that I once read about in this book about this hero. And this hero comes to know at some point, you know, for all the good fight that he's fighting, that he is going to be killed in a few weeks. And I was so inspired by the tremendous grit and courage and just like fight to the utmost that that hero showed. And today, that opportunity comes to me as well, to be that hero. That's what the little boy said in response to that news that he was having a terminal illness. And it really opened me up to saying that, hey, Tendra, you teach this class on personal leadership. These are the kinds of stories we talk about in this class. There's evidence about science in this class from science that, you know, people can go on incredible hero's journeys. And that it's moments like this, moments of adversity, that really bring out that possibility and that opportunity, you know, for each of us. In other words, our daily routines, otherwise, in a more stable and growing world, right, tend to be so much just about, you know, waking up, dressing for success, eating breakfast, going to work, coming back, watching Netflix, hanging out with family, doing dinner, going to sleep, waking up, dressing for success, going to work, you know, coming back, watching Netflix, eating dinner with family, going to sleep. I mean, the same thing again and again and again, until one day we have gray hair and then one day we're dead. And instead, when things are really challenged, when things are complex and chaotic, that's the time that life is giving you and me and all of us today an opportunity to go on our hero's journey. What is it going to be for you? And what is it going to be for me? And I'm going to offer you that this hero's journey is about six things. The first is that you want to create a really uplifting meaning from the situation. What is that uplifting meaning for you in the present moment? Which, if it was just business as usual, like in 2019, you would just never have had that opportunity. Society, humanity, your organization, your family would not have had that opportunity. What is that uplifting meaning? Churchill, for example, in the Second World War, created a really uplifting meaning by saying that this war is not about like land grab, like previous wars. This is about saving Western civilization, trying to prevent slavery from happening at a massive scale, an uplifting meaning. The second thing you want in creating a hero's journey is to create like a default versus desired kind of vision of what the future will look like if this is how you keep behaving, you know, the way you are right now, versus if you behave this way and went on a hero's journey. And visualize a time a few years from now when you'll be able to look back and tell yourself, you know, I was so proud about the choices I made. I am so grateful about what it is that I was able to kind of like make happen in that moment or the attitude I brought in that moment because I could have just gone down that path of just like, you know, just being struck like a deer in the headlights or just being really consumed by, you know, despair and what have you. But no, I, I, I chose to transcend those and move beyond those. And this is what I did. What would that look like for you? You know, create that desired future for yourself versus the default future. You also want to recognize, number three, that you have a choice. You have a choice of how you wake up in the morning and how you show up with your family and with your company and with your own self. Right? You, you, you can just kind of keep, you know, we all can, we can just keep lying there in bed, you know, depressed and despairing, you know, worrying about the news, or we can just rise up and embrace the sunshine and just keep going, right? And that's a choice we make. And if you make that choice to engage, engage with yourself, engage with your family, engage with work, then well, you know, then recognize that you are in control. You are in command of the situation because you are choosing. You are a player. Number four. Make sure that this hero's journey, this uplifting meaning is unique to you. 
my hero's journey is going to be based on my values and my purpose and my life situation and my resources and my talents and my strengths. Yours is going to be based on you, right? The same you know, uh, story will not play out for all of us. In my case, I have a certain purpose. For example, at home, I've just made my hero's journey to be about the fact that I have a daughter. She is 18 years old. And my wife and I, we really want to make this moment count for her in a way so that all through her future, she can look back with a great sense of, in a sense, courage, strength, and pride that in this moment, right, she, um, she approached it with a certain sense of resilience, a certain sense of larger humanity, and et cetera. That is our purpose with regard to our family interactions and dynamics, right? So make this a unique story based on your situation, your values, your needs, your aspirations. Fifth point. Make it a credible story, right? The hero's journey is not about, oh, everything will be fine, everything will be good, you know, this is kind of just like a beautiful future, the world will unveil, and you know, the present thing is just gonna go away by, by Easter, it's gonna go away by, you know, end of May, what have you. No, 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 no. Be very grounded in whatever might be the harsh realities of the present and the unknowns and uncertainties that might still be ahead of us. And recognize, that, look, it may be a hard journey, it may last for a month, it may last for six months, it could perhaps even last for a couple of years. I don't know. Until I know, I don't know. What I do know is that, you know, at the end of the day, we have a choice. And if we go down this path, then despite, you know, those adversities and uncertainties and what have you, you know, we're gonna end up being heroes. It kind of like doesn't even matter if we kind of like win or lose, you know, etc. There might be some adversities along the way, but. But if we go down this path, we will look back with a sense of fulfillment and pride and meaning because that's what human beings are. We're not just economically maximizing agents, we're also meaning maximizers, purpose maximizers, fulfillment maximizers, and that can happen even without material gains in a very high sense of certainty coming to us. Last thing I wanna to offer to you is that a hero's journey doesn't really truly happen until as the hero, is fighting against all the external adversaries and you know adversities, the hero starts to look within. The hero has a mentor. And that mentor, which could be a teacher, a teaching, a principal, a poem that inspires you, a life experience from the past, you know, a parent or a inspirational figure, whoever it might be, right? That mentor opens you up to looking within and recognizing that, you know what? The true change I really need to bring, the true growth I really need to bring is within. And once that growth starts from within, you start shifting your attitudes, you start shifting your behavior, you start evolving your consciousness and growing in a certain way. Well then, it turns out in these hero journeys that just naturally from the outside, the right things start to happen. There's a certain harmonization that starts to happen. Maybe not always in a way that is materially controllable, but in a way that just makes you feel more at peace with the journey you're on and the integration between that inner space and your outer space. So um, make sure that as Gandhi once said, that the greatness of a human being lies not as much in remaking the world as in remaking yourself. Make sure that we can also look within and seek to use this moment as a catalyst for growing to our fullest potential. I wish you and your loved ones well, stay cheerful, stay resilient, and go on your hero's journey.